I'm seeing a lot of red flags already. It's an unreleased. Movie. This? Yes. These are fake. G, the reliable pawn broker. You ain't never seen nothing like this. Tune in, trust you don't want to miss. I'm talking about gold, cash, and silver. Jewelry coming, pawn that. The reliable pawn broker. You know I be on that. Let's go. Hey. Welcome back everyone, it's Wednesday. I got a late video drop for you guys. Try to drop it earlier today, but I was really busy, so I do apologize for that. But as always, welcome back to another episode. Um, first and foremost, it's the day after election. So I hope all of you guys went out and voted. Um, as you may all know, we got Donald J. Trump coming into office for the next four years. And I think it's time for unity. A lot of you know where I stand politically. So, you know, I, for example, am very grateful to be here in America, the greatest country, in my opinion, um, the land of opportunity, the land of freedom. Um, you know, my parents brought us here when I was very, very young. And I have to say, I would not have it any other way so let's bring some unity to this uh, country. Um, and also, as Patrick says, PBD, the future does look bright indeed. And I wish the same for each and every one of you out there. But for now, it's time to move on with the episode. Don't forget, 25,000 subscribers by the end of the year in order to give out the 10-ounce bar. Um, Friday giveaways as usual. But today's episode, I'm going to let it run through and I will break it down for you guys at the end. So I hope you guys enjoy. Hello. Hi there. Hi, uh, how you doing? I'm okay. I called yesterday. Okay. I have a uh, designer ready. Cool. How's your day? Actually, how's your day? Not bad, hanging in there. <laughs> it's almost the uh, end of the day. Oh, thank God. Okay, so this isn't real, uh, but it's a great curio. So, this is a Chanel. Oops. So, I mean, what do you know about these? Because I'm seeing a lot of red flags already. Okay, what are the red flags? This is not real. That was my aunt's, and she told my mother it was real. She got it in Europe. No. Okay. This is definitely not real. Okay. Well, I may just have to give that to good little bit. Show you what I'm referring to. Okay. First of all, all the stitching is absolutely incorrect. Okay. So, okay. You see it, right? Mm -hmm. How it's just uneven. Mm -hmm. And the way this is tagged on there mm -hmm. comes inside like that. Mm -hmm. um, the hardware, look mm -hmm. at the way that C comes mm -hmm. cut off there, the gap mm -hmm. here, here, okay. blemishes. Okay. Um, so this one for sure is not not real. Okay, so that's gonna go to yeah, this is sell it for a hundred bucks or whatever on. Nah, I, on what though? I would just uh, I would probably put like fake. Um, on on like what site though? Probably eBay Craigslist. or something? Not not eBay. Craigslist. Uh, on it's a house. nice bag. I mean, it's not you know, it's just not a real bag. It smells bad too. It does. Yeah. That, that fake plastic smell. I mean, you could tell from the heat uh -huh. that wherever it was, uh -huh. 
see what happens. It's like yeah. think of plastic when you hold like a lighter to it, yeah. they'll start kind so of wrinkling up. So you think that's just up. like a goodwill, like a giveaway, and just see if they can. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I, I personally wouldn't try selling it, but who knows? No, I mean, goodwill. You're just gonna donate it. Yeah, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't really gift it to don to goodwill because goodwill. Some of the reps that work there are, might not be familiar with what it is. Mm -hmm. They're gonna put it out there. Some innocence, and then you don't know how they're gonna price it. Mm -hmm. Some innocent soul is gonna buy it. So do you think thinking, it should be thrown away? That's where I was gonna tell you. Oh, wow. I will toss okay. it. Okay. All right. Well, then that's number one. Yeah. Um, so this one here is also a fake. That's really because my mother bought it. She they told her it was a real one. She bought it at a garage sale. Yeah. That that kind of tells you. Okay. It's funny. This thing's like kind of like cut with a scissor. Okay. See the stitching? Mm -hmm. Do you think that's a non sellable too? Non sellable. Okay. I would never ever try to sell this mm -hmm. to anybody. Okay. I just want, I'm, I'm being very straightforward well, that's who with you. Well, you should be. You know, yeah, I don't want to, while we're on these fake Louis Vuittons, this is, a, this is like probably one of the worst ones I've seen. They make things perfect. Mm -hmm. The hardware is incorrect. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is, this, is, that, this is one of the worst ones. This is all stuff that your mom had, or mm -hmm. yeah. Same with this, ma'am. Okay. Sorry. That's okay. The dust bag already tells you that it's not real. Okay. Yeah. Same with this. Okay. These are like one of those ones that they might have sold overseas. Mm -hmm. These white ones mm -hmm. are supposed to be like their Murakami edition. Mm -hmm. So this one's just a real bad fake too. Okay. okay so let's put this one away too. Okay. Let's put this in this bag. Yeah. I'm not too fond of taking in. Okay. I've taken in a few different ones, but uh -huh. yeah, one in this condition, even if this was real. Mm -hmm. I think my mom bought that in Everett Mill, which is a store, it's a store in Texas. Okay. It does have a registration, like a number. It's possible. Mm -hmm. This one, this one doesn't show me any immediate red flags okay but this style though i personally wouldn't be interested in okay just because of the condition okay you know you see where the hardware is already starting to lose color and fade mm -hmm. so that i mean i'm just not a big fan of that the one thing about when you would do wear this back but it needs to be the interior the lining needs to be done in the interior but um it does and this is kind of going down because it's old but um I have a guy that could do that, but it is easy. It, you can put a good amount of stuff in there. Mm. Like you can put a wallet, cell phone, yeah. that kind of stuff. So it's kind of a good size. Style. Yeah. No, size. Size. Yeah. It's a good pouch. 
like it's, it meets what it gets. But again, I'm not a hundred percent sure it's real though. I'll tell you that because first of all, that tag uh -huh. that I've showed you, uh -huh. that's kind of a red flag. Uh -huh. I don't think Gucci made it like, the tag like that. I thought she order. got this. This one is fake too. Yeah, I thought she got that Neiman Marcus. This one? Mm -hmm. oh. No, there's no way. Yeah, there's no way. Just the just the stitching alone on this. Mm -hmm. yeah, the way they come together here, mm -hmm. so uneven. The stitching here, mm -hmm. one side's fat, the other side's skinny like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, stamp on the inside. Even the hardware is not right. Okay. Yeah, I would be cautious with this one as well. Okay. All right. Well, thank you. No problem. I mean, I wish you. Had, I wish there was something here that we'd be interested in buying. You know, mm -hmm. but. Okay. All right, well, have a good evening. You're very welcome. Uh, hope you have a great evening yourself. Thank you. Of course. Thanks for sharing. Sure. I hope we shed some light on uh, the authenticity of them. Okay. Have a great day. You too. Thank you, ma'am. So, these are it? Yeah. This one, it's a col Marvel Collectors. It's an unreleased. Like this? Little, yes. It's more of a vintage. Yeah, bro, in this condition, you're going to have a tough time finding anyone that's going to buy it. Not only that, but this ain't even real. It was not genuine. Uh, I've had an authenticated check. From who? Online. Online? Yes. Yeah. I would question that. Well, who was the what company? eBay and then also Mercado. What makes it um, not the that workmanship, bro? The workmanship, this tag, the hardware. This is fake. That's no, it. It's completely fake. Bro. Look at the stitching. Look at the painting we on. It's, this is like a. We were given these. Yeah, yeah. I'm just, I'm just saying. You know, when he says that he had them authenticated. Well, we went through the. He went through the process, and then they, um, once it's sold, then they verify it with, with somebody like you. So yeah. So they, they, these are fake. Okay. I know what you're saying. I, I do eBay. I've done this before. That's why I'm telling you. These are. These are 100% fake. There's like no doubt about it. I'll put, I'll give you a brand new bag if you can get this verified. Yeah, I understand. You know, this yeah, it's it's a really bad one too. It's this isn't even leather. Yeah. It's like a leatherette if you want to call it that. You know. I wasn't sure about that one at all. Man, these are in really rough condition. Whoever wore these really used them. Because certain things, yeah, this is also fake. The strap is? Yeah, that's completely wrong. Um, even if this was repaired by someone else, there's absolutely no value mm -hmm. in the bag itself because Louis Vuitton would never uh, repair it that way. So they just stitched it together, but it doesn't even look like it's repaired. It looks like it's just done that way, you know. Mm -hmm. okay. But these. We don't see that. Let me see if we're taking these right now. I know that. There's some that we are, some we're not, but I'll take a quick look. What's that one there? Just a game? 
No, it's not. It's the full set. This whole set. I'll take it out. It's an Atari Lynx. Work. Has six games, manuals, and charger. Man, how far gaming has come. Oh. Let me look this up, and then let me look up this. I'll just take this back here, just so I can get that. Okay, okay cool. Side on it. which one? Uh, uh, the um, shoes. Yeah, the shoe. Yeah, it's Air Jordan One made, I believe. It's, I think it's high. It's Team Red. Team Reds. Okay. Well, let's say for the shoe and the that Atari, what were you trying to get for just those two pieces? Together? Yeah. Uh, I was kind of trying to sell them individually, like together. Um, it's kind of hard to price it. The shoes, I wanted one ninety for them, um, and then the Atari, I wanted around seven hundred for that. I'll show you a couple of things. That Jordan, that Jordan's like a hundred, hundred twenty dollars shoe on eBay. On on StockX and on eBay, it's oh. going for a hundred eighty, hundred ninety. Whatever I look at any listing, and that's usually because usually that's how any shop will do it. They'll go based off actual sold prices, right? Instead of what they're listed for, right? Yeah. You know, the authenticity guarantee. So the one ninety you're asking for, you know, I would pass. Also that Atari Lynx. Um, I can't really see much that has sold recently. I don't know if it means that it's not a hot item or. Oh, it's 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 a hot item, especially with most of them. They don't have boxes. Um, that I do agree with you on. The fact that you have a box does make it more desirable. You have a really nice store, bro. Thanks, bro. I appreciate that. And do you take comic stuff? or is that Comic not? stuff I only take if they're graded. We have posters and they're signed by the creator and the artist. Those I don't deal with, bro. Unless okay. it's graded, you know, then I would consider it. It's so difficult with comic books. They could be all over the place. Here's a sale that I have on the Atari Lynx. It has the original box and everything. That's, that's the actual just console. I have, that's the first one. I have the second one. And that does that has two games. I have the manuals and the charger, the charger for the car. It that's completely well. You should put these on different. on uh, eBay yourself, because don't take it personally. But you're trying to get like really high dollar amounts. I mean, you're asking for seven hundred or six hundred dollars for this. Any shop you go to, they're gonna maybe offer you a couple hundred bucks for this. Is there a price you would give me on these? No, those those I would be interested if they were more of the collectible, you know, rare. Jordans. These are more modern stuff. Very difficult to sell. Okay. And then same with this, bro. This. Yeah, this I wouldn't make you an offer. It's cool and all, but the number you're asking for it, I wouldn't want. The number I offer you, you're gonna think it's an insult. Well, what would it be? Hundred bucks. Because I know at the end of the day, it's probably like a maybe. Again. Three four hundred dollar item, so that you can. Two hundred fifty maybe. Three hundred maybe. But I'm taking a gamble. I have to hire someone that's yeah, not hired, but I have someone that works on it. There's I'm shipping a, fees, you know. Right, Plus, a, it's not an overnight item to sell. You got to find the right buyer for it. Sure, sure. Yeah. 
but uh, those bags though from me to you don't try not to sell them on ebay because it usually when it goes through that authenticity period if let's just say you have one or two bags that go through it they'll flag your account yeah you know thank you very much of course no problem So hope you guys enjoyed the episode. As you can tell, replica counterfeit items are notorious when it comes to pawn shops. The first clip or interaction you guys saw was recorded very recently. She came in thinking that she had a bunch of, I guess, genuine products that were handed down to her. But unfortunately, each and every one, except for maybe one of them, the Gucci one, I think it was the second to last product that I looked at, but even that, I was starting to question. Majority of that, if not all of them, were fake. I showed you guys close-up pictures of each of them. Um, not a big fan. Unfortunately, it looked like at the end, she wasn't very happy when she left here. But I did tell her in the video that I have to be honest. And I'm very, very straightforward when it comes to stuff like that. Now, the second interaction, you can tell the guy was not prepared at all. His dad, from the side, was very understanding. However, the younger guy, which I believe to be the son, had no clue of what the merchandise was worth. Those shoes that he was saying were close to $200. You can buy them all day for about $100 to $120. As for that Atari Lynx, yes, I do agree. The version he had did have the box, which was kind of unique. However... It was nowhere near the $700 that he was asking and there was no way I was going to be able to make a deal. So unfortunately, I don't think he left happy, but the father was understanding. So next time, as I always tell, do a lot more research and be more educated on the value of your merchandise or else the negotiation is not going to go far at all. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. It was short, but educational as always. And I'm here to not only entertain, but to also educate. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. As for Friday, stay tuned. I got a little game I want to play in the beginning of the episode with a little pricing. So I'm sure you guys will enjoy it, especially if you guys are guitar and instrument fans. So as for today, thank you. I look forward to seeing you guys Friday. Yeah, the reliable pawn broker. You ain't never seen nothing like this. Tune in, trust you don't want to miss. I'm talking about gold, cash, and silver. Jewelry coming, pawn that. The reliable pawn broker. You know I be on that. Let's go. Hey, yeah.